Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's session. Today's topic of discussion is about pure strategy in game theory. In pure strategy, we'll be discussing about minimax and maximin principle, or it's also called saddle point principle. So in general, in the last webinar of mine, we spoke about what is the basics of game theory, uh, what are the different principles on which game theory works and the advantages and uh, the different types of game theories. Now, in, in a, on a broader sense, we could say that the game theory are of two types, um, basically non-competitive and competitive. And in competitive situation, you have pure strategy and mixed strategy. So today's webinar is about pure strategy. So we will begin this session of pure strategy, maximin and minimax principle or saddle point principle. Now classification of game strategies. There are different class uh, types of game strategies. You have two person game, zero sum game, non zero sum game, pure strategy and mixed strategy game. We'll be focusing on pure strategy and mixed strategy game. Now what is meant by a pure strategy game? A pure strategy game is the one in which one player selects only one strategy throughout the game. Now a mixed strategy game is the one in which one player selects more than one strategy. Now let's try to understand this with an example. Now uh, take the example that I already explained about Colgate and Pepsodent. They are coming out with a new variant called Charcoal variant. Now both of these companies can uh, adopt different strategies, three different strategies. The first strategy is to come out with, they can invest in uh, TV advertising. The second one is they can invest in digital media marketing or digital marketing. Or the third one is they can in, invest in celebrity endorsement or at the same time, or, or something they can bring in a celebrity to endorse their brand. But now in the case of pure strategy now in the case of pure strategy what happens is uh, the company will adopt only one strategy till the end of the uh, for a long period of time for example the company will either invest in tv advertising or digital marketing or celebrity now here the company is selected s2 what is s2 s2 is in in digital marketing so the company is uh, adopting only s2 and the probability of S1 as well as S3 is zero. So total probability of the company of that particular strategy is only is one because the probability maximum value is one. So this is what is pure strategy. Now in mixed strategy, what happens? Take the example of Colgate itself. So in the Colgate, what they're trying to do is for the initial part of it, initial part of their product life cycle, I'm bringing in some little bit of marketing. So what do you understand in the in the in introductory stage of the product life cycle, they are bringing in uh, S1 that is TV advertising, but maybe towards their maturity and the growth stage, they are going for celebrity endorsement also. So what happens? They are going for S1 as well as they are going for S3. So S1 and S3 is there and what is the value of them for probability of S1 is 1 fourth and probability of S3 is 1 3 fourth, which means like total pro probability of the game is 1. So here also what happens is uh, in uh, both pure and mixed strategy, the, the maximum uh, value of the probability will be 1 itself. Okay, so this is a little bit of understanding about pure and mixed strategy. So in pure strategy, we have uh, we are now going to focus on the minimax and maximin method or the saddle point method. Now this is actually a one word like minimax and maximin is actually one principle and saddle point method is also another name of the same principle. So what is this minimax maximin or saddle point method? Now in minimax principle, we maximize the player's minimum gains. That means you select the strategy that gives the maximum gain among the row minimum values. Now let's look at this particular question. Now in this particular question, what we can see is we have player A and we have player B. Now player A is selecting strategy 1 and player B is selecting strategy 1. So ultimately what happens is the player um, the value the the cell resultant is 20 now what does this mean this means like the player a is actually gaining 20 and player b is losing 20 
because why i say player a is gaining that is because player a is always the matrix is written in such a way that the player a the positive values in this particular matrix stands for uh, gain of a the positive value means gain gain of a and negative values mean gain for b since there is no negative values here it is all favoring a okay now um, so in this particular case uh, mini maximum principle and minimax principle in maximum principle the player a is adopting maximum principle and player b is adopting minimax principle so the player a is adopting maximum principle player a is adopting maximum principle and player b is adopting minimax principle now what do you mean by maximum and minimax principle so we'll look to that in detail now uh, maximum it means select the strategy that gives the maximum gains among the row minimum values now you have row minimum now you have row minimum and among the row minimum you find the maximum and in maximum uh, minimax principle among the columns you find the uh, maximum value and from them you find the minimum value so before i go that into that i'll just explain about um, all these things in just in uh, basics and then i'll go in detail so you have saddle point now what is the saddle point the saddle point is the if the maximum minimax value and maximum value is equal then that particular column is called the saddle point and what is the value of the game it is expected payoff at the end of the game when each player uses the optimal strategy so value of the game is the game that is the resultant uh, when both the players uh, uses their optimal strategy now what do you mean by a fair game now a fair game is the one in which the saddle point is zero or the value of the game is zero if the value of the game is zero then that uh, that those games are called fair game now if the values of the game is some anything more than zero then it is called a, a deter, determinable game a strictly determinable game okay so I'll explain once again. So maximum, mini, maximum and minimax principle. I'll explain along with the problem. Now saddle point is the intersecting point of minimax and maximum value, and value of the game is the uh, is the is the payoff at the end of the game, which each player uses their optimal strategy. A fair game uh, is the one in which the value the the value if the value of the game is zero, it is called a fair game. And if the value of the game is anything other than zero, it is called a determinable game. Now, uh, how, you, how do you do the minimax and maximum principle? Now, here A1 is supposed to choose the minimum of the row. Now, you write the minimum of the row and maximum of the column. Now, we have a question in front of us. The question is to find the saddle point now and the value of the game now we have a uh, player a and player b and the payoff matrix is given we have to find the as per uh, saddle point uh, row, um, steps we have to first of all find the minimum of the row and maximum of the column now what is the minimum of the first row minimum of the first row is 10 write it here then what is the minimum of the second row it is 30 write it here what is the minimum of the third row it is 15 so write it here now what you do next is is to find the maximum of the column now what is the maximum of the column it's 30 of column 2 it is 40 of column 3 it is 38 now you write them all here now once you have finished that you have to find the the second portion is done we did the minimum now you find the maximum what is the maximum among these three values it is 30 so maximum among these three values is 30 now here you have done the second part of it now do the first one what is the minimum among these three values 30 40 and 38 it is 30 so what we understand here is the value of the game is 30 it is the value of the game is the intersecting point of uh, minimax and maximum value now it is also called saddle point if the saddle point is equal to zero 
Now in this particular game, the saddle point is equal to zero. In that case, it is called a fair game. Now on all the other cases, if the saddle point is anything other than zero, it is called a determin deterministic game or it's a purely determinable game. Okay, so I'll just explain once again the in, in minimax and maximum method what you initially supposed to do is you have to find the minimum of the row and then you find the maximum among them again in in the case of column you find the maximum of the column and then you find the minimum among them you will find that there will be an intersection and if there is an intersection then it is we are we will be able to solve this problem using saddle point method but there are some times where you cannot do it so we we'll, i in the in my next webinar i'll tell you like what what will be the method what happens when if you are not able to solve a problem using saddle point method okay thank you very much for watching my video